guys welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about bulk insert and how you can insert csv data to sql table so i'm going to show you three scenarios where you can use the bulk insert to insert data in the first scenario you see that we have this employee file uh, it's a standard employee file which has a first name last name number address postal code salary and joint data information and you can see here uh, we don't have any identity or ID column. Uh, so the table we're going to insert is this one. So let me show you the table. The table is employee, which has the employee ID, which is an identity column as a primary key. We have the first name, last name, number, address, postal code, salary, and join date information. So let me first create the table. So the table, let me select from here, and the table you see we have the employee ID column, but in the file itself, we do not have the ID column. So how to insert this data? So I'm going to use this bulk insert statement here. You can see in the first one, you have the uh, CSV file path, the source of the path. Uh, we have the first row, which is two. So it means that our data starts from row number two and the first row is, is the header. So we just use the first row two. We have the file delimiter, which is a comma and row terminator, which is a new line feed character. And then we're going to use the batch size of 500. So let's start first with user running this command and see what happens. So I'm going to insert bulk insert into the employee table from this file. So once I run the command, you can see right away there's an error with the employee ID. It says the bulk load data conversion error, type mismatch or invalid characters for the specific code page. So it means that we don't have the employee ID column or the, or the field in the, into, the, into the actual file. So how to resolve this issue? So to resolve this issue, we can use an, a view. So this is my view that I created. So in the view, you see this view sits on top of this employee table. And if I select from the view, you can see that it doesn't have an employee ID column. So instead of using the table, I'm gonna use a view to insert the data. And I'm gonna run it and you can see that, you see the, the view works and then we have the data inserted and the employee ID column is populated. So that's the first scenario I wanna show you. In the second scenario, we have the employee ID column coming from the file. So let me open with Excel. And you can see that in the in the first column, we have the employee ID coming from the, from, from the provider or the source. So how to insert this data? So in the second scenario, you can see that we, we already have the data coming in. So let me truncate the table and then run again. Since we already have the data coming in, we don't need to do anything. It's, uh, it's gonna populate automatically. So let me select now from the table. So if you see that when I select from the table, the art, it was auto it committed and the, we have the employee ID column populated with the, with the IDs coming from the, from the table itself. But if you look into the, into the file, you will see something that uh, our IDs, they don't start from one, they start from 11, 12, 13, 14. So it means the provider is sending us their own specific IDs. So how to keep these IDs into our SQL table? So we don't want to use one, two, three, which is auto incrementing. We are we're gonna use their own uh, ID columns from the, from the source file. So to do that, I have another bulk insert statement here. So let me first truncate truncate the table again. So you see here, we're gonna use an option called keep identity. So once you truncate the table and you run again, you can see that if you use keep identity, we're gonna use identity columns from the, from the file itself. So now the data is inserted and you see the employee table is populated with the IDs coming from the from the provider or the file and does not keep the IDs from the from the table itself so that's where that's where you can use IDs coming in directly from the from the source file so i hope you like the video and if you like it please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching